Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to delineate the watershed. So let's start, open the arc map and add your study area in that. So click here, add data and add your required digital elevation model in this arc map. Okay, so this is a required digital elevation model which I have cropped as per my requirement. Please ensure this model is in required coordinate system. So to check that just right click on this image and check data frame properties. See this is in UTM zone 43 N also check here on this on this image just right click and in properties check the coordinate system for current figure in source so it is in UTM zone 43 N ok so after that click on watershed delineation click on automatic watershed delineation now in dam setup in open dam raster click here and select from map because we have already added this image in map so select from map press ok then select figure name that is this dam cut 43 ok now here in dam projection setup click on this and select z unit as in meter click on ok now in stream definition keep this as it is that is dam based and then in flow direction and accumulation click on this tab ok now here is message end of dam grid pre-processing click on ok now here you will get area of your watershed that is 617 hectares as well as the number of cells each cell is of 30 meter by 30 meter you can reduce area from here ok generally the model is valid if watershed area is more than 500 hectare now next stream network create stream and outlet so click here It will take some time, so wait. Okay, so after this message, that is end of stream pre-processing, click on OK. So see here, there is different streams are there, substreams, okay, and some points are there. Now let's see. What are these points? These are the sub basin outlets. Now uh, we have to define the whole watershed outlet here. So we can use this by default outlet or we can delete that outlet and define our whole watershed basin outlet. So first of all select here edit manually option because I don't want this extra outlets so in this edit manually option click on delete now messages select point with cursor right click to stop editing and save click ok so select those point which we have to delete and delete yes Okay, so I need only this a central one main line. So I have deleted this rest outlets. Now uh, right click and click on stop editing.
now sub basin outlet is defined now in watershed outlets we have to select whole watershed outlet so click on this select here is message hold down the left mouse button and drag box to select outlet okay so from this total outlet i need to select a whole basin outlet it seems that at this point all discharge is added so i am selecting this outlet as whole basin outlet so just click on this yes one outlet is selected okay now my whole watershed outlet is selected next is a delineate watershed after this step your watershed will delineate around this whole watershed outlet so click on delineate watershed on this tab okay watershed delineation is done click on okay now for this basin it is seen that the number of outlet is 23 as well as sub basin is 23 for this calculation of sub basin parameters if your watershed area is more that is more than 5000 square kilometer then you have to check this box otherwise keep as it is after that click on calculation sub basin parameters so click here and wait okay sub basin parameter calculation is successfully done click on okay this is your a delineated watershed so to assign sub basin number right click on watershed in properties click on labels then check this box here click on sub basin then select appropriate dimensions here and font and click on okay see here is sub basin numbers this study basin has a 23 sub basin number so this is a process of a watershed delineation now you can read the reports from here watershed delineation click on watershed reports topographic report okay so this report will show how much percentage of area is lying between these different elevations okay so in next video we will see hru analysis